Welcome back seventh grade. Today we're going to just do a review on the distributive property. The distributive property is one that you've been using since fourth grade. You learned it initially for multiplication of whole numbers, but then in fifth grade we would have used it with uh, multiplying decimal numbers and then later on multiplying fractions. Well today we're going to use it to multiply algebraic expressions. So let's take a look at this first uh, multiplication problem because these are all multiplication problems. You read this problem as four times the quantity of x plus five. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means you're going to repeat x plus five four times. So let's just do that, uh, x plus five, and then we're gonna do it again, x plus five, that's twice. We wanna do it another time and then another time. So we repeated x plus five four times. That's what this problem told us to do. So now if you put all the x's together, there are five of them. We would call that five x. And then if you put the four fives together, that would be a positive 20. Now, there's a simpler way to do that, and that would be with the distributive property. Whenever the distributive property says that when you have a group, like in this case, the group is x plus five, and we're going to repeat it four times, it means that we're going to multiply everything in the group by the number of times that we want, and we want it four times. So four times x is four x, four times five is 20. That's a lot simpler than thinking about it as repeated addition, but rather as multiplication. So look at number seven. We have the quantity of six minus m times negative four. Now in this case, negative four is after the group, but that's okay. It can be either before or after. The concept is the same. Is this negative four is going to multiply times six, and it's also going to multiply times this negative m. Now remember, a negative in front of a symbol, uh, a, a variable or a numeric value goes with it. So that's really a negative m. So negative six times, or negative four times six is negative 24, and negative four times negative m, a negative times a negative is a positive four m. Okay, number eight, we have s times the quantity of negative six plus t. Again, the number in front of the group can be a variable. So again, the pattern is still the same. s times six, negative six s, s times t, just like it sounds, s times t, okay? Now the group might have more than two things going on. In this case, uh, number nine, it does. It's eight times the quantity of j minus 2k plus l. Same thing though, eight goes to everything. So we have eight j's, we have eight minus 2k, which would be negative 16k, and then we have eight l's, eight l's, okay? Uh, number 10, z minus four times the quantity, no, the quantity of z minus four times negative five. That could be a negative symbol, so uh, in the quantity. So negative five times z is negative five z, and negative five times negative four is positive 20. And then on number 11, you'll see that the group is put together with brackets as opposed to parentheses doesn't matter, it's still a group. So nine times negative seven and nine times negative y. Okay, so that's the distributive property. You have some practice to do. The answer key is attached so that you can check and see how you do afterwards. Okay, all right, see you later.